Hey guys, how's it growing? Welcome back to our channel where beginner growers come together to learn together. If you're new here, welcome. We do this every week, sometimes twice a week. So be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our next upload. In today's video, we're behind the lens and we're going to give you guys an up close look at what's going on in the 4x4. We've got four different plants in here from three different cultivars and they're all in flower. So we're going to go up close, give you guys a look at what we've got going on and show you a few tips that we have used to get us through to this point. So, we hope that this video is pretty helpful and it's a little bit different from what we usually offer you guys. So, we hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, okay guys, we are in the 4x4 and we have on screen here the Black Amnesia Haze by Canuck Seeds. Now, this is a fast flowering strain. This is an awesome strain. That's why we have kept it around. It's actually a clone. It is a really, really easy grow. We can't say anything bad about it. Um, the buds are, are really nice. They do have a lot of trichome development in a very quick time because it is a fast flowering strain, which would explain why it is a bit shorter, you know, in its, in its appearance. But it really does put on some nice stacking colas and they're everywhere, especially if you train it. And we haven't done much by way of training. I mean, we did a little bit of LST slash super cropping, tied her down, held her with a binder clip. Just before we sent her into flower, we did a light defoliation just to open up the bud sites a bit. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, guys. We didn't do too, too much by way of training with this. We did a really hardcore 90 degree super crop. If I can find that pic, I'll put it up on screen for you guys to see. And it's really crazy how she turned out. She turned out to be a really beautiful girl. You know, she looks good. Some nice buds going on, some nice development. And we are only in about week three of flower, just, just over three weeks of flower. So we've got some ways to go still, and these will put on size. You know, if you have visited our channel before, you would have seen quite a few videos which feature the Black Amnesia Haze from Canuck Seeds. So yeah, check out our other videos. We put a few links to some videos on the YouTube card above. And yeah, let's go on to the next train. Next up here, we've got the Gelato Mint by Exotic Genetics. This one is a little a little bit of a picky girl you know she she has shown a few different symptoms throughout her life um in our previous videos we did show that she does a, a sort of thing with the leaves where the leaves sort of look like this um they sort of look i don't know they just bend a bit inwards but it's not really like a deficiency i took some clones as well and same thing has happened so i don't think it's anything wrong i think it's just genetics you know um we actually had this in a its own tent in a two by two tent uh seedling tent and we weren't sure if it was going to be male or female because it was a regular seed but it turned out to be female so we put it in here with the others and yeah she's she's looking okay she's looking all right she has some ways to go um in flower she's the the one that we put into flower most recently out of these four in here you know as you can see she's done some nice stretching during flower and the pre-flower stretch i mean you know um and yeah she's she's looking good she's looking okay um, we will be pretty interested to see how those buds turn out, you know. We already know how the Canuck Seeds, Black Amnesia Haze buds, we've been smoking on that for some while now. And we haven't yet tried the Gelato Mint by Exotic Genetics, so we're uh, really excited to see how that turns out, you know. Um, yeah, we actually had it under a screen as well, a screen of green, um, or a scrog, but we took it out of that setup. And we'll drop a video soon and show you guys what we did with that setup, but... Yeah, we took it out of there and just let it sort of spread its wings and let the branches raise up instead of keeping it under the screen. So stick around, you'll find out what's going on with that screen, what we've got onto that tent. And yeah, we'll show you guys and hope you enjoy that. But let's go on to the other two ladies in the back here that we are super interested and excited about. Here we've got the White Wedding by Ethos Genetics. And here we've got the Cheesy Poofs by Ethos Genetics. So as you can see, both of these are pretty tall strains. They are taller than the other two that we've got in the front um initially when we flipped them into flower the white wedding on the right was taller than the cheesy poofs on the left but now the tallest colas on the cheesy poof seem to be taller than the ones on the white wedding either way they're both robust strains ridiculously robust strains um they took topping extremely well low stress training we use the low stress training clips to create this beautiful structure just below the screen that you can see here. You know, on both of these ladies. Let's just move these plants around. Now that's the beauty of having these mobile mobile units. You just roll your plants around. Even if you've got a screen, you just roll them around. Makes life so easy. But yeah, as you can see, we've got some 
awesome branch structure going on here and this is all down to the low stress training which we did low stress training is super important guys it increases your yields it helps you build a structure for your plant that can help you maximize the light in your grow space it's just a really simple way to help you get batch returns and you know get in tune with your plants you become one with your plants so yeah suggest low stress training to anyone this is the cheesy poofs like we said plant lives matter especially these cheesy poofs and this is the uh, white wedding or just in case you were wondering we've got a few of the lst clips these are what they look like so you basically just put them on to your plant and they do the rest once your plant begins to grow and it hardens off you can remove them as you can see here if this thing ever zooms yeah so as you can see here LSD clips have done their work. If they get a little too big for the clip, you know, you might see a bit of abrasion, but it wouldn't really do anything to the plant, if I'm being honest. And usually we just remove them before they get to that point. So they are really freaking awesome. They, they work a charm. They are easy as pie. And yeah. awesome so this is the white wedding it's very easy for a beginner grower to miss the fact that when your plants go from veg to flower they need different nutrients so plants use different nutrients throughout different stages of their life cycle during the veg stage they want a lot more of the n of the npk values so nitrogen during flower they'll want a lot more of the p and k values which are potash potassium uh, phosphorus so you you want to just keep that in mind they will their needs will change so before we put our plants into flower a few things that we like to do a uh, one transplant those babies transplant them from whatever pot they were in to a slightly larger pot so all these pots here are between seven and uh, seven and ten gallons um, not exactly sure which but it's just just between both um, and when you transplant them before flower that helps them be able to spread their roots and really expand because during flower they will consume a lot more they are have cannabis plants are heavy eaters man they're heavy eaters so you want to just make sure that there's enough root space for them to be able to do what they got to do you know push through flower and be healthy man you want them to be healthy that's the end goal right you don't want struggling plants so that's one actually that's two because you need to handle the the, the feeding of the plants and transplanting that's another tip a third tip just as we go into flower, just before we go into flower, we like to do a light defoliation. That defoliation helps to get rid of some of the excess leaves, get rid of some of the stuff that are, for instance, below the net. So as you can see, we have removed all of the growth that's below this screen that we are using. And yeah, anything that doesn't get appropriate light, we get rid of it. We don't like to trim popcorn buds. It's a waste of time, in my opinion. But, I mean, a lot of growers keep it and use it for concentrates and stuff like that. Use it for hash or whatever, but um, that's just not really my style. So, I just like to lollipop. If I get smaller buds, then, you know, I'll still make some hash. But, you know, those popcorn buds, man, it's, those are annoying. Anyway, so, yeah, as you can see, we've done a little bit of defoliation under the screens. We've removed everything that's there. Those are for some of the taller plants. If your plants are shorter plants, for instance, these uh, Black Amnesia Haze by Canuck Seeds, there is less of anything for you to trim under there so you know it's all about the plant it's all about the phenotype it's all about the strain you know if you are seeing there are areas that you can do a little bit of trimming then you know go ahead and and trim but just bear in mind that the fan leaves are the solar panels of your plant and you don't want to just cut them all off there are techniques such as swazing and stuff where you take off you know like 90 percent of the fan leaves or whatever but you know um, everything in moderation is what i always say Oh, yeah, those are a few tips. What else have we got for you? Um, yeah, we're still on defoliation. So defoliate, we do a light defoliation before we put into flower. And we like to do another defoliation just between week four and six of flower. You know, just when you're, you're midway there, you can tell where the bud size are going to begin to form. But, you know, they maybe haven't begun to completely form. Then at that point, we will get an idea of where we need to trim some fan leaves. So, for example, with this cheesy poofs, as you can see, she's super happy. All the leaves are pointing upwards. She's loving life. 
she's super happy um, and we did a light defoliation you know just not too long ago actually we did a, a little defoliation cleared off a lot of the, the leaves that were in here just so that some of the lower bud sides can get a bit of light you know really opens up the canopy allows you to get down in there and that's that's sort of what you want right so yeah that's pretty important as well one last thing that we would say is that during flower you want to ensure that there are no light leaks light leaks can pla cause your plants to herm herm means that they will face stress and exhibit tendencies to show male as well as female organs and that can potentially cause pollination issues in your grow tent so you want to be extremely careful of light leaks a lot of growers who use grow tents don't really face that problem so that's that's one thing that i guess helps but you always just want to check to make sure because you never know sometimes you might have a little hole in your tent a little uh, uh, a little crack in the zipper sometimes your timers might also just go out of whack and that has happened to a few gromies in our community recently so we just thought we'll drop that in there just to keep everyone aware and yeah that's what we've got going on in here all of these are under the awesome mars hydro light the mars hydro go light this is the mars hydro fce 4800 this is a beast of a light it is a full spectrum led fully detachable bars so you can adjust it to suit your grow space the ladies absolutely love it these cheesy poofs man every time you open the tent they are praying to the light so if you want to grab your own you can grab it off the mars hydro website use the code i can thc for a nice little discount i mean everybody likes to save money right and yeah bro you can find so many tents and lights on that website be sure to check them out mars hydro They've got you covered, and we are the plug, I can THC discount code. So, yeah, guys, this video was fun. We might do a few more videos like this. What do you guys think? Let me just chop this brightness back down. Yeah, because we feel like, you know, we are really, really in touch with you guys this way. We can get close up. We can give you a few, a few different perspectives of what we've got going on in the grow room. Well, yeah, I think on that note, we'll end the video there, guys. Stay high, stay fly, and peace.